hello everyone i hope you yourself around you all are doing fine today our next exercise of logix pro simulator is batch simulator and uh, in order to read its problem statement we have to open up its problem statement to their web page here's the exercise and this exercise Exercise number one, filling the batch mixing tank. We have been asked to connect um, a start switch at the address bit input 10, and when it is pressed, the pump will energize and the tank will start to fill up. And the pulse is generated by the flow meter 1, which is connected at the address 5, input 5, should be increment, should you should be used to increment a counter and next constraint constraint is when the counter reach a value where the tank is approximately 90 percent the full indicator the pump should shut off and the full indicator turn on which is connected over here we will see what is the exact address when we will be programming in logix pro Okay, the third constraint of this, access of this exercise, number one, is the filling operation is to halt immediately if somebody or whoever will come and press the stop button. Everything should be stopped whenever someone will press the stop switch. And uh, yeah, there is a suggestion. We need to utilize reset simulation and reset time and encounter entries while we are developing our program so viewers in this assignment we need to use a counter instead of timer in our previous example in traffic light we have used timers so in this assignment we will be using a new uh, instruction in section of ladder logic is a timer so i hope you all are familiar with the timer option if no again you need to click over here you will find there are two options ctu counter timer up count counting up count up yani simple yani mean i'm sorry again yani mean i meant so let's find the detail of c you counter count up where it is uh, goodness where to locate it where to locate it uh, dear a b c t c there's a countdown and count up here as you can see in the explanation it is very well explained and it has three flag registers three flag bits one is done the other one is overflow and the third one is counter count up is enabled and it has also two file or two storage registers preset and the accumulator we will be using counter up in our assignment and uh, we will be getting done our job so let's click new again and click logic thousand click ok right click and adjust the windows switch the panel bring up one lad and okay first of all uh, we need to start with our start button let's place examine if close drag and place over here and it's when somebody will press this button it should turn on an indicator saying saying run okay so press this one here do the whole drag and place right click give it a name run and give it a name start okay place a feedback and then place one hour to start and it will ensure it will continuously turn on okay and if somebody will come it should um, 
if press the stop button it should turn it off okay so then it has to be placed over here in series right click give it a name stop okay let's try it whether it's working or not run start stop start stop it's working perfectly fine okay so our next line to turn on next line should be responsible to turn on the pump okay so we have to make sure when the run light is on I mean we are in process so bring this one over here drag this here over here and and place one out energizer for the pump bring the pump address over here right click other symbol okay your pump so there I can see there are two pumps so let's give it a name pump one okay so then it has to, to remain on for until 90% of the tank so in the next one we need to make sure we need to bring up counter counter up it should start counting so I know that if I set its preset value to 50 it will ensure that it will be filled up with 90% so and this should remain on until the timer will reach to its preset value so we need to use this uh, examen if open for okay need to configure first the timer which is connected at C5 five, five, zero done not done yet so it should remain on okay okay so this counter should count what so I need to read the pulses of flow meter on which is connected at the address input f5 so bring it here and drag and place it here right click and give it a name flow meter one flow meter one then we need to in the next part what it says count reaches with the value and then the feeling should have it and immediately stop the press button okay so we have to display it whatever pulse is recounted we have to display it on the panel over here so we need to use another instruction which is convert to bcd okay let me place one on rung first so here bring another one I'll let her use okay so now we need to use we need to use convert d to home we should convert which is okay whatever the counter accumulator value is C five zero dot ACC should be displayed over here so which is output four okay O four O five four okay when it should happen when we are in run mode so which will ensure by reading the status of run LED. Okay. And 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 when the filling operation okay the ninety percent okay. So last constraint we need to let up this full indicator. So when we have to turn it on when the counter is done with its counting. Uh, it will lead to this pre-value pre and okay the full LED should grow and just to make sure we are in run mode okay 
that's all about okay let me label it full okay okay that's all about our first part of the assignment let's switch the panel download and test it okay let's click on the start button yes it is on it is counting as well okay it stopped at 250 which is a preset value and the full indicator is lit up and showing that it is full excellent it's working perfectly and uh, I hope you would have enjoyed it thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next part of the assignment